Welcome back, everyone. It's Thursday, so it's time that we ask Ellen. We've seen a lot of snow over the last month, and some people make their money off it in one way or another. So Drew sent us a comment saying, for all of us that push snow for a living, not having a good radar is really tough. Any suggestions? Ellen's in the tracking center now with her answer. Got, gotten this question several times, yeah. Emily, and this is a great one. So I just want to start off with the fact that the Grand Rapids radar is not the only radar in the general area. We have six other radars that sweep in and through West Michigan from time to time. Chicago, Milwaukee, Green Bay. We also have Northern Indiana, Detroit, and Gaylord. So those radar beams are also always scanning the sky, and that's why we get radar imagery like this, which is a composite. It's not as accurate as the type of radar imagery we get when the Grand Rapids radar is functioning. But until the National Weather Service gets that radar back up and going, it's at least a nice place to start. You can start to see where the snow is. Now, another tool that's incredibly important, even on a day when the radar is working, is cameras. When we have cameras, we can see the ground truth. And a lot of times, even when a radar is sweeping the sky, it samples the sky at several thousand feet above ground level. And a lot can change between the clouds and the ground sometimes. So cameras are a great indication to see how much snow is stacking up and to see where the visibility is the worst. You can find a whole bunch of cameras at our website, woodtv.com, under the traffic tab. This is also coupled with another really important tool. And plow drivers, I think this might be the best one for you. Real-time traffic maps, like the one that we have here and the one that we have on our website. It shows slowdowns for you. So you can see where the snow is worst and where it's impacting traffic. Okay, last tool I want to tell you about, MPing. This is an app that you can download. This is real time and it shows where snow is being reported across the area or various other types of precipitation. So there's a few tools for you, many of which you can get on our website. Yeah, lots of good tools right here, yeah. right here. Got them. Thanks, Ellen. <laughs> And if you have a weather question that you'd like to ask Ellen, all you have to do is send an email to the7 at woodtv.com.